Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmosso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me, tmosso at thewatchbox.com, for purchase and pricing details. Today, we're discussing the Ulysse Norden Marine Diver. Originally, in the 19th and early 20th century, Ulysse Norden of La Loque, Switzerland, was famous for its navigation clocks, or marine chronometers. In 1996, it launched its first wristwatch format marine chronometer, styled to resemble the navigation instrument, and in the early 2000s, that watch gave birth to the Marine Diver, a dive-themed version of the wrist-borne marine chronometer watch, and that's what we have right here. In stainless steel, the watch is 42.7 millimeters in diameter. It's 14 millimeters thick, lug-to-lug, -lug, case alone. The distance across the wrist is 46.4 millimeters, but the end links are particularly broad-shouldered, so the total distance across the wrist with this watch is a beefy 54 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll pop the clasp open here. You can see it's a twin trigger release. It features an internal fold-out dive extension. We'll pop all that in for the time being. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference, and the watch wears well. That said, I do think because the end links are so broad, you can see they push right out to the edge of my wrist. The timepiece wears best on a wrist my size or larger. I could wear this. You could see size of my hand, the size of my arm. I'm bigger than I look, but if your wrist is narrower than mine, you're probably going to want to opt for a smaller UN dive watch, so 16 centimeters circumference and up. It's not a hugely thick watch, but it does have a very flared flanked the case. It's, it's not even sheer. It actually has some flare from bottom to top, widening in a little bit of a cantilevered loom as it looms out towards my cuff. I can recommend it for jacket cuffs, but not the thinnest or slightest of dress sleeves. Now, taking a look at the bracelet, it's both distinctive and substantial. It's a three-link design, but it's nothing like the Rolex Oyster, which is the dominant design inspiration for a lot of three-link dive watch bracelets. You can see how it has channels in between the links, both down the center and in the flanks. We have a combination of satin and polish for an upscale contrast. There's an integration via an end link that matches the slope of the lug and the curve of the case. Removable links here are fixed in place using screws, so if you do have jeweler's screwdrivers, you can size this one at home. You can see there's an intermediate-sized link in there in case you're in between sizes. We have that generous fold-out extension if you want to use this clasp over a dive suit. Not all UN divers have the dive extension, so it's nice to know that this one does. Single-fold, thick-gauge steel deployant clasp right there, twin trigger release, so you have to press both to open it up. It's not going to pop open accidentally. It's very secure on the wrist. Now, the bezel has a sharp knurling outboard. It is a 60-click dive bezel, but what it lacks in clicks, it makes up for in chunkiness. It has a wonderfully loud and distinct detent to it. It's a pleasure to operate. Now you line up that luminescent pearl with the minute hand. Now you've got a zero to 60 minute count up timer. There's plenty of luminescence on this dial, no shortage whatsoever. The dial base is actually a sort of ruthenium, a, a darker, more powerful silver gray than a conventional silver opaline, a little bit like Mercedes-Benz AMG Alubeam or Audi's Avis Silver. It's that kind of color. The recesses of the bezel feature a polymer in gray with a wave motif, reminding you this is a nautical watch, and then polished numerals and indices in relief with the first 15 minutes calibrated. Taking a look at the dial base, you can see it has a dimple pattern that was used on the vintage marine chronometer, so that's why that's there. We have blued skeletonized hands, and we have blued applique indices. We have a sunken sub-register, as you would have seen on the originals, but we have a date that is within the register, as you would not have seen on the original marine chronometers. So this is 1846, the year the company was founded. Ulysse Norden, the first and last name of the founder. It's not a pair of business partners, as with Patek Philippe or Jagere Lecoult. Ulysse Norden, one man. Now we have a power reserve indicator up at the top of the dial. That's another nod to antiquity. Uh, we have a watch that you can wind fairly quickly, as the power reserve here is 42 hours. 
The base movement is an ETA 2892A2 in chronometer spec, but the module atop that creates the small seconds and the power reserve with the date down at 6, that is UN's own module. Now we have a hacking or stop seconds function, so you can stop the seconds hand, and in the process you can set the watch precisely against a reference time. And then we also have a quick set system, so you could rapidly cycle the date and advance that and correct it in case the watch should run down or encounter an irregular length month. We have crown guard structures for the crown with a UN anchor logo outboard. The lugs are broken out dramatically from the case band, very different from what you'll find on Omega and Rolex divers. And then we have this lovely inked and satinated and frankly also side beveled individual number plate held in place by two blued screws. This is another nod to the old marine chronometers which would have had a blued screw fixed to number plate on their flanks. Under the reverse of the case, which lists the many chronometry accolades earned by Ulysse Norden. We have what UN calls a UN caliber 26. It's the UN complication module with an ETA 2892A2 base. The base is a bi-directional automatic winder with a 42 hour power reserve, a four hertz beat rate. It's got the hacking, it's got the quick set capability. It's very tough and accurate chronometer spec movement adjusted in five positions, protected down to 300 meters rated depth. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.